collision between Miguel Torres and Charlie Valencia. A wrestler who found tremendous success in the WEC Bantamweight division, Charlie Valencia brings a wealth of experience and grappling skills to the UFC. At 5'9", Miguel Angel Torres towers over most of his bantamweight opponents. A practitioner of Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu, this former WEC champ has dangerous striking skills and has earned over 20 submission victories in his career. Charlie Valencia and use his wrestling to control this fight. He comes in with a wealth of experience and he's tough to put away. He's very skilled in every area of mixed martial arts. Charlie Valencia, ready to throw down and put on a show. his way to the world famous octagon. Miguel Torres is an extremely tall bantamweight. He's got very good striking, great submissions, and an impressive resume of wins. He earned his black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Carlson Gracie and has knockout power in his hands. Miguel Torres, fired up and ready to go. is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Ontario, California. Charlie Valencia. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, by way of East Chicago, India. Miguel Angel Torres! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. Charlie Valencia, Miguel Torres. And here we go. Uppercut. Push it. Looks like Valencia is cut. Back to side control. And back to full guard. Side control again. Nice right hand. And into full mount. He ain't that one. Top position is doing a great job of holding that mount. Under three minutes now. Oh, he got reversed. Side control. Okay, moves into the mount here. 
half guard. He's in the guard now. Side control. Oh! Yeah, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. And really raining down some Heyman. And mount again. Oh, a big shot. He's hurt. Well, it looked like he was hurt, but he snapped back really quick. Oh, man, Torres is cut open. Oh, reversal. Good and strong. He's in the full guard. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, he lets him up. Good takedown defense. He got the double underhooks. Final 30 seconds, non-title fight, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. They clinch. Round one complete. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. I throw that Superman punch. We don't need that one quick thing. We need those jail blows. Come back with the jail. Come back with the hope and bring back to catch him with the He says that he can handle the stage fast. Fast. Our hard man is in the stage. not in the cup. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Here we see a huge shot landing on the ground. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Of course. All you need to do is work. You throw me that big the beautiful Shandella. We are ready for round two. Go. Ready? Ready? Here we go, round two. Let's fight. One, six, two, five. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're changing here. And right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Working with the elbow under under here. Drags him to the ground. Nicely done. Full guard here. Oh! Oh, he gets reversed. Pushes him off of the feet. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Oh! the midsection. And oh, he hurts her. Nice body kick. He ain't that one. What an exchange here. He shoots in. Stopped. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Outstanding takedowns. Pushing his opponent away. We're seeing a lot of power shots getting countered by quicker strikes here, Mike. You can throw bombs all day, but if you're getting tagged by a faster fighter coming in, it'll throw you off over and over. Again, he takes him down. And he gets reversed. He's got side control. Big right hand. He's in the full guard here. He's got side control. He's got half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Oh, he got reversed. Side control. He's looking for Kimura. I don't think it's quite tight enough. He got out! And he escapes. In the half guard. He's in full guard. We have completed two rounds. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, alright? You go out there and just keep fighting hard.
I want fours and fives with the punches now, all right? We, we can't hold back now. Cannot hold back. Grace, give me a couple of deep punches. More importantly, you're not there normal. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. Unbelievable exchange here. Both men connecting. And here we see them going back and forth with what they do best. This is everything we hoped this fight would be. Nice action there, Mike. That liver keeps working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take... The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Go. Ready? Ready? Third and final round. Oh, beautiful hook. Oh, big shots. Swing and a miss. Nice right hand. Again, the takedown. Oh, brutal ground and pound. Oh, he's got locked in. Guillotine. He can get up. Oh, man, that's tight. Joe you know, said full guard with the arm in. It's over. Wow, he cranked on the hips, pulled back the neck, and that was it. Miguel Torres with the victory. As soon as he has that full guard locked in, that's a ton of leverage, and he just squeezes on it right there. And there you see the tap. Here we see it one more time. with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 14 seconds of the third round. Declaring La Gagnon and the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke, Miguel Angel Torres. Miguel Torres.